This is our black currant. Uh, last year it had a very heavy crop, the heaviest crop I've ever seen on this plant. And uh, that caused a lot of the branches actually to bend. So what I have to do now, either to cut some of the old branches and let the plant uh, with the new wood grow stronger and upright, or put a wire all around it, a wire or a rope, wire is better, just to give it a support so it can rise. Probably I will go for a combination of both. Well, as you see, the plant is very laid down now. It has to be done something. This is a black currant, and I'm going now to prune it. This is a well established old bush, probably around 20 years old. And uh, the key for pruning it is that to remove any old wood, and old wood is usually dark color and as you see for example these ones in the center are darkish they don't have much fruit buds and these are the ones which I if I remove them they will give more space for growth next time and also this one which I'm putting at the center is also dark wood it does have a few fruit buds but that's just very oddly shaped and placed so I'm going to cut it this one, which is now uh, misplaced, the one at the center, I'm following it. This is also coming at an angle outward. It should come upward. And I'm going to cut that also. And generally raise the profile of the tree uh, bush a little bit. So I will have more upward growth instead of the lower growth. And that will give the bush a better shape. I will keep this one, for example, here, which is upright. And anything that is possible to keep it upright, I will cut it. I will keep it, otherwise, the ones which are going really low, I will remove them. For that, I can use a pruning saw. This is what I've done and reduce the amount of the old wood which are these ones I may lose some fruit because of that because the tip of them has fruit parts but that's for the future growth of the tree I have other red currant, black currant bushes so I don't expect much loss in the terms of the fruit but the benefit I will have in the form of the new growth healthy light colored new growth will compensate for that so a lot of the darker woods are gone old dark wood and as you see here they have been reduced in number these are the places I've cut the old wood I've left for example here just close to a bud that may grow and give a new branch. Then I will decide about it. If it is toward the center of the bush, I will cut it. If it is outward, I will keep it. Outward and upward, I will keep it. So, it's a formative pruning of established uh, red currant, uh, black currant uh, bush. And these are the fruit pots which the fruit grow, grows on them on the one year old. This is the pile of the old wood and the clippings from the pruning that uh, from two fruit bushes, red currant and black currant uh, are produced. I'm going to practice on them some, you know, some things like uh, doing grafting. I take a few of the branches to home just to practice. 
it seems chickens love this now. It's airy, I can walk around this. My apple tree is now free from touch, being touched. Our um, opal plum from the Asta is also free now, nothing is touching it. Any branches which were touched, touching, uh, they have now been removed. It's not the best ideal position for two fruit bushes and trees. But anyway, it is there. I don't want to touch it now. <clears throat> and that's it. Chickens also now have access, air and light can come and uh, touch the branches. And you see this fruit bush, red currant, has very strong root systems. On that side also. I have to put some compost under it actually. It helps the new growth of the shoots. Probably I would do that. This is the final shape of the fruit bushes. This is the red current, as you see, is open, is airy, I can move around it. And this is the black current. Uh, quite a smaller in size, almost half of that. They're the same age. And uh, airier, better to walk around, harvest, and uh, younger looking. So practically rejuvenated, rejuvenated uh, fruit bushes of black currant, red currant.